Welcome to JD Bots. This is a bot series on to do bot where we will be creating a chat bot to create, view, and delete tasks. This is part 5 of the tutorial series where we will be understanding some basic functionalities of Azure Cosmos DB local emulator. So let's get started. So there will be a question in your mind that why Azure Cosmos DB? Well, I don't have any particular answer for that, but you can use any database. It is just that I want to explore this Azure Cosmos DB. And this emulator provides a local environment that emulates the Azure Cosmos DB service for development purpose. So with this emulator, we can develop and test our application locally. So we don't require the Azure subscription or any cost associated with that. So I'll be providing the link in the description for you to download this emulator. So when you install the emulator on your system, this is the welcome page you'll be seeing, which contains the URI, the primary key and the connection string. The server usually runs on 8081 port, but it can be different in your case. Down below, we'll see different platforms so that we can integrate with them using the sample code provided. You can download the sample code and test the connection and play with the database using the code itself. Well. For our bot, we'll be using the .NET Core sample codes. So in this part, we'll just explore it manually using the user interface. But in the next part, we'll integrate our bot framework with this Azure Cosmos DB emulator. And let's go to the Explorer. All right. So for learning purpose, you can start with the sample. It creates a ready-made database for you with a container inside that. When we open the database, this is a pre-created database from the sample. We'll be creating for our requirement later. Here, there is a database name, sample DB, and the persons is the container name. Inside the containers, we have the items. And here you see, Every document or let's say every item has an ID associated with it. Well, let's create a new item in this. When you click on new item, it will show you a sample like just to replace with the document ID. Let's say doc1 and the first name this is another field which we can populate it here. First name. This everything is in JSON format. Let's say JD and save the item. And what it does, it creates an entry with ID as doc1 and the first name as JD. You can also provide any other fields as well, not just uh, ID and first name. You can also provide the list as well. So the best part is it creates a system timestamp. Uh, we can convert it into a readable timestamp using the code itself. Well, we can do it in the query editor as well but uh, we'll be doing in the code because this is what we need uh, when a user is creating any new task uh, we need a timestamp so that we can sort the created task in the descending order okay let's keep this aside and create the database for our requirement i'll give the name as
to do bot db and let's keep the other fields as default and let's create and when you open the to do bot db we don't have any containers right now let's create a new container choose the existing which we have created just now and let's give a container name to do task this can be any name and like in the sample db you saw the partition key as was the first name so in this we can write it as task because we need just the two fields one id and one task we don't require any other field and we also need the timestamp but that is already created for us and let's create the container all right we have our db ready we have our container ready and inside the container we have the items currently there are no items so let's add a new item so in bot we'll be providing the user with a new user ids and that we'll be inserting in our db let's suppose we give the user as u1001 and uh, the task provided by him can be call a friend and save this adds the first user with his task we can add the same user with another task schedule meeting with boss now you see it has created a new entry with a new task so the time in stamp will be varying uh, let's add a new user now u1002 and the task is write a book and here a new item is added with a new user well how we will be querying based on the user id that we will see in the query editor so this this is a simple sql query like c let's suppose c is the table name and it will get all the items from my container actually here c is the container in sql language you can say c is the table name and when you execute this one you get all the entries inside the container including the user 1 as well as user 2 let's suppose uh, only the user 2 wants to see his task we can write it as select star from c where c dot id is equal to user1002 and let's execute this one now this gets me only single user that is u1002 if i can change it to u1001 i'll get only the first user so this is how we'll be querying inside c sharp inside our bot so that we get only the result associated with that user not with any other user well we'll be getting the result in json that we can pass in our code all right yeah this one is pretty straightforward and the next part will be connecting 
this db this emulator db with our bot all right in the last part we had completed the create task dialog and we have taken the task from the user and displayed it on the bot the chat window but the problem was uh, when the control moves out of the create task dialog the task provided by the user gets lost that is the reason we are using the database so before coming out of the create task dialog we'll be saving all the task into the container or you can say into the db okay yeah see you in the next video thank you